will call the annual reorganizational meeting of the board to order. We'll stand and be led in the pledge by Mrs. McAfee. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Mrs. Thank you. Our next item on the agenda is public comment and discussion on agenda items. Is there anyone that would like to speak on agenda items? Next item is the administering of the oath to our newly elected and re-elected board members. This is Botsford, the board for will do this. Ms. Rash and Mr. Howard, if you would like to stand. I've provided each of you with a copy of the oath for uh, reference. If you would both raise your right hand. Um, I repeat, the, I say the oath and you just repeat it back to me. Um, this is the Public Officer's Oath, Article 13-1 of the New York State Constitution. I do solemnly swear or affirm, I do, I do solemnly, solemnly swear, swear or affirm, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and I will support the Constitution of the United States, States, and the Constitution of the State of New York, and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Trustee of the Board of Education, of the Office of Trustee of the Board of Education, according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Thank you. If you would both sign the oath, return it to me. Congratulations. Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokosh? Yes. Ms. Rash? 
Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. Ms. Wojcik? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Next item is uh, the nominations for vice president. I would like to nominate Dan Resch. Second nominee. Are there any other nominations for vice president from the floor? I will close the nominations and I will ask for a roll call vote on the nom nominee nominee. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Lenski? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Act 
liaisons. That's all new based on the uh, new Dignity Act legislation. That's correct. correct. <coughs> Number seven, the Dignity Act liaisons will probably be an assistant principal in each of the buildings. And uh, we, 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 uh, the building principal will give us a name of, uh, when they get their duties picked out in each building. And then we'll bring those names before. Okay. 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 Our next item on the agenda are designations. These are for <coughs> repositories. Are there any objections to taking these as a group? I'll ask for a motion for the designations of the bank depositories. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Arcot? Yes. Ms. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Ms. Ruchek? Yes. <coughs> Um, okay, next item is to designate the last Tuesday of each month as a date of regular Board of Education meetings. List of meetings is attached. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? No questions. Yes. Are we, uh, are we designating the time or is that? Do we only well, designate the day? We have them down as usually the workshops are at 7 p.m. Right. And the regular meetings are at 7. And that's indicated that some meetings have a different time. And also with a footnote that meetings are subject to change as well. Because we do that occasion. Mr. Lawson? Is this just a typo that is 2013 and so it should be 2012? I, yes, I apologize for that. Thank you. At the top of July 2012. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Carpaj? Yes. Ms. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. <coughs> yes. The next item is the designation of official newspapers. I will take these individually. And I have a motion to designate the Mid Hudson Times. So moved. Second. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Carpaj? Yes. Mr. French? Yes. Mr. Woodhead? Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. yes. <coughs> I have a motion to designate the central. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Lewis? <coughs> yes. Mr. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. Mr. Chuck? Yes. Can I have a motion to designate the Times Herald record? So moved. Questions or comments? Yes, Mr. Lewis. Yes. Yeah, it seems like uh, I make this comment every year about the, the, the uh, Times Herald record being the newspaper for the city of Newburgh. The Mid Hudson Times uh, is, is recognized in the town of Newburgh. The Sentinels is in New Windsor. And the Mid Hudson Times is a paper for the poor minorities in the city of Newburgh. And it's a daily newspaper. And I think we need to recognize the Times Herald Record as our newspaper. If you saw the graduation pictures and coverage this year. Everything, everything, everybody was covered except Newburgh in the Times Herald. Mm -hmm. And I think our people need to see our kids. That's all. And I think they need to be part of, part of our recognizing this community and recognizing the African American, especially the African American kids, except we always see about the murders and everything else, but I want to see them recognized uh, in the newspaper with some positive 
uh, thinking, and I think that our board president and our superintendent should reach out to them and have some some meetings with these folks to see if they can better our relationship because we had them for years. I met with them on several several occasions with Dr. Satinelli, uh, with Dr. Um, um, Leahy, and, and other superintendents, but you have to reach out to them where they give us some coverage and they give us a reporter like we used to have because we had it for years. I don't know why we can't get it again. Mr. Howard. Yeah, Madam President, it's dovetail on I don't know what's happening in the past, but it was, it was on record, but uh, I'm, I'm overthinking that. But without me being one of our designated people, he really disenfranchised the whole group of individuals in the city area, be that of all uh, make ups, because the city's made up of a diverse population, it's just that that is their paper. And if we have a problem with regards to how we feel an important story, we need to sit down with them and have dialogue with them. Let them understand that we want fair reporting. And if they can't give that to us, then going forward, I think we should address the idea of not using them as an uh, official organ for this body. But to not have them, knowing that the population that they serve, I think is, is a disservice. Mm -hmm. This is my I agree with the point that's being made by Hopkins for both, but I, I would ask that our approval be held until we have that meeting. In other words, let's move quickly to do it. Let's sit down at the table with them. Let's try to get some kind of agreement that things are different. And uh, then I then I would be totally uh, in agreement, or at least willing to wait and see, to take that wait and see attitude. But just to approve them at this point, after the things that they have done, I've looked at those sports pictures, yeah. for example, and you see our kids not there. There, there needs to be some kind of an accountability for that. Yeah. So to just approve it is saying that what they've done is okay. Mr. Lawson? I have a couple of points. First is, uh, is the town hall record the only paper here that's available? Yes. Yes. That's number one. I think that there's no way that school district of our size, schools of, school of our side, should relegate all of our information newspapers or to, to weekly <coughs> or monthly publications. I think a daily publication is something that our, our district needs and should have. The second thing is, um, I don't, I mean, when we're saying what they did, I don't know exactly what we're talking about. We had some brief conversations in the executive session. <coughs> but if their job is to report and they report it, I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to get a better understanding of why we do not want to do business with them. <coughs> um, because if their job is to report and they report it, then they do, they're doing their job. If their job is to say only good things about the school district, then then I don't know how we're going to be able to get, make that happen. I, I think that the reality of it is, is you know, if, if we don't have a daily paper, I think we are really missing the ball. And the second thing is, I think that, and just to, to speak to the points that have already been made, we need to be able to communicate with all of the members of our constituents, um, all of the students that are represented. And if this paper is recognized as one of the papers that uh, people in the city of New York read and offer <coughs> information from, then we should be whatever we have to do. Uh, I don't I don't think waiting sends the right message. I think it sends a message that we you know there's there's, there's always there's, there's already contention. So that's gonna make it even more more difficult to, to really <coughs> bridge the gaps. I would advocate us approving them and walking through the process and trying to work have a better working relationship with them as opposed to, to not approving them and waiting to see if they do. Because it's, it's one of those things, we can both draw lines on the same, and, and we never cross it. Myself and the superintendent will make the comments when you guys are done. Mr. Howard. I was going to share with you to recognize the motion, so we're still in discussion. We're still in discussion, yes. Yeah. Uh, 
I agree with Judy. We've had them designated in the past. We've had them not. We seem to get the same results either way. They don't report fail or balance. They report only the negative. They do not give our kids any positive exposure, only negative. It's a lot of money to condone a newspaper that isn't playing fair. We have gone to the table. Dawn has, Mr. Pizzo has. I would like them to go to the table again on the board's behalf, absolutely, and continue to make strides and efforts to have a better working relationship together on behalf of our community and our students. We have to post it in that paper anyway when we have meetings. Or we usually do, right? I mean, it's just we're not, we're not doing the big umbrella. We're posting <coughs> as we need to. Uh, where the other ones are the big umbrella, if I'm not mistaken. So I, I agree with Judy. I'd like to bring it back to the table if we, if we can make some headway here with them and uh, do, do some nice talking, fair talking, equal and balanced talking. Mr. Pizzo. I'd like to make a comment here. As you know, over the years, our, our relationship with the newspaper has been up and down. My contention has always been that they're, they're not fair and balanced. They send people here to cover our meetings when they think there's going to be some uh, dirty things going on, as they call them. And uh, we, would, we would be there in the beginning of the meeting and recognize students for many different things, recognize individual teachers in our district, because we have outstanding teachers in the district, and uh, recognize outstanding administrators. And they'll sit there and they'll take pictures of everything but the positive. They go out of here and they never, ever do fair and balance. And I've <coughs> been reporters on several occasions. I'm not going to talk unless you want to talk about the good things that happened in the beginning of this meeting, which you don't want to talk about. You only want to talk about things that your editor has sent you out here for. However, with that background and my record with the paper, I would like to say, as superintendent of schools, I would recommend that we we go along with our new board members, Mr. Lewis, and your recommendation here, because I think to keep the peace and tranquility on our board, especially starting out with new members, is much more important than what newspapers we have covering us. So I'm, I'm glad to recommend them as your superintendent, and I will be more than happy to go and meet with the editor. Thank you. Mr. Lawson. Oh. I, I, and I, maybe not the hot one, but um, I don't I don't know what it means to be fair and impartial. I, I I try to stay away from comments like always and never because usually that means you know it's never really always or never. It's probably most of the time. But I I, <clears throat> I guess what I'm trying to understand is what did, I'm, I'm I'm trying to get like what happened like what did they do wrong? I mean I I understand. Yeah, that there was a big incident around the basketball team. But there was an incident around the basketball team. So to say to say well we shouldn't they shouldn't have said anything about it. No, we're not saying that. We're not saying that. What we're not saying, saying that at all. is if you're gonna come and cover the basketball, what about all the good things that happened in the front of our meetings in our meetings? Mm -hmm. We recognize kids, we recognize teachers for outstanding performances. They don't want to put any of that in the paper. It never goes in the paper. Anytime time you're going to see pictures of our kids getting any kind of award at a board meeting is in the Sentinel or the Hudson Times. Never in a record. Never. Never. The only Never. stuff that goes in the record is what Kerry, Kerry Buttrick, uh, <coughs> the press agent, sends to them. And you can see the pictures in there say, picture provided, doesn't have the name of your photographer. And it may not be in there in a timely fashion. It may not be in there for a month. Or it may be in there for two weeks later. It's whenever they got a little bit of space that they want to fill if they don't have any commercial. Well, I, I guess what I, I'll speak to a specific article. I remember that there was an article in the, in the, in the record about the tennis team. We had two seventh graders that made it to the state. That was a great article. Yeah. Um, so when we say never, nothing, nothing good. I didn't say never. Okay. I, I, I didn't say that. I said we're not fair and balanced. Okay. So well, fair and balanced. Okay. That means if you're going to come and interview the superintendent of schools right. and you want to interview basketball stuff, <coughs> I can say to them, what about all those kids got awards here? I'd like to talk about that also. Right. That's not what my editor sent me here for. Okay. That's what I get. 
Mr. Howard. Okay, uh, the baby's good. <laughs> and, 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 no, it really is. It really is because. I'm glad you like it because we do a lot of that. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. You come in on one side of the argument, but when you sit and listen, and as I'm sitting here, and to be perfectly honest with you, I'm in the middle now because I'll tell you why. Because I do feel that we need to have an organ that's located locally. But at the same time, as I listen to the consensus from around the table, it hit me in the back of the head because I felt the same way sometimes. That they do do a lot of negative articles with regards to new birds. So my thing, my thing would be this. I think that I want to bring them on, but I think that we should hold off on it and have that meeting first and let them understand where the line in the sand is at. And if they can't agree to that, then I say we go in a different direction. But if they cannot honestly talk about fair reporting, fair and accurate reporting, talk about some of the good stuff that our children do in this New York Long City School District, if they can't agree to that because, you know, I gotta say I gotta back off on it. Mr. Lewis? But if you go back, and Ralph, you know it, because you and I were, were here at the time, when we had reporters who came here and they wrote good stuff about us, since you remember <coughs> Allison Bethel. The time to yeah. record fire. Yeah. No, no, but, but, <laughs> uh, but I'm saying Allison Bethel was assigned to us. And she came in, she even went into the community and dug up good articles and good things about our kids and our parents, etc. I mean, so, so it has happened. And we have done some good things with, with the record. But in the last five or six years, things went downhill, but we need to get back and we need to reach out because our parents and yeah. students need yeah. to be Absolutely. recognized mm -hmm. by their people. we got to have dialogue. Now, come on. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's I agree, no sense to keep beating it, but I'm still all about us recognizing all four of these, these newspapers and then we go out and, and see what we can do with them. Because I know we can do something. All right, Mr. Pizzo. I just want to make a comment. <laughs> Mr. Lewis has a very good memory. Yes. Because we, we we made an appointment with them at that time. We, weren't, we didn't have a reporter anymore covering our meetings. And we were told at that time the reporter could only be here for an hour because they had to meet their deadline because they moved the delivery time up in the morning. They wanted to catch people before they started their commute because they found that that juiced up their circulation. And it was a simple thing like that. So our reporter would be here for maybe the first half hour of the meeting and then go on the way. Mr. Wickhoff? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to table the time share of record. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish talking. I would prefer not to do that. Pam? I was just going to say, the first year I got sworn in, we had the same, same conversation, yeah. which was, Ten years ago, and it's and it was voted out then. So we haven't really made much progress. And, we back. and then we voted it out again yeah. because. Yeah, we voted back again. <laughs> well, maybe uh, it's never helped when we brought it back in. Is my point? Okay, so Until we hold the, or I, I think we need to speak to them more. I still go back to to what Judy and I felt at the beginning, and now Mr. Okay. Howard maybe too that. I think just to just to go ahead and vote it in, it gives us much less le leverage, for lack of a better word. It's not it's you not power; it's leverage. Sure, sure. You don't like what's going on. You always go about it. I say they don't get that opportunity until they show something in good faith, which they have not done this year. Ms. Prokash, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm usually the first to jump in and say something. I've been listening. <laughs> That's because I don't feel the time, but. Um, you know, I've listened to what everybody has to say, and I agree with most comments. The thing that impressed me the most is when Ralph said um, that he's willing to um, put out the olive branch, because I think if anybody that had the most controversial back and forth is, is the superintendent and uh, newspaper. So my feeling is this. Yes, they have been a pain in the neck. Yes, they have done inequitable things, but our superintendent's willing to hold out the olive branch <coughs> and say, okay, we want you as our official newspaper, and he's willing to sit down with them. I think that gesture alone 
is showing the strength of the community here and by by the superintendent doing that and then if they come back in and, and cut the branch behind them I think that we have more fodder to say okay then we don't want you but I think even though there's been hurt feelings and I mean I put a thing in last year about the football team I was uh, and it was a month and a half before it went about the scholar athletes so you know and it was done over Christmas vacation when basically nobody was renamed so I could understand that but the superintendent's willing to make that step and I think by him willing to make that step it is saying you know what I, I rose above this and if they then cut the branch off behind them then there's we have more fodder to say okay then you're not going to be our official so that's I would go along with the superintendent's um, recommendation at this point. I, I will weigh in at this point I absolutely will not support them I totally support the superintendent meeting with them and extending that olive branch their behavior over the past year has been absolutely apprehensible I do not think that you reward that type of behavior by guaranteeing them, by designating them as an official newspaper, you guarantee them over $20,000 a year. By not designating them as an official paper, we can use them for anything that we choose to use for. We can choose how we spend our money. We can choose what gets advertised in that paper. I don't think they deserve to be guaranteed over $20,000 a year with their treatment of this district. They are not fair and balanced. We have um, had good reporters in the past, and those reporters are miraculously reassigned to other districts as soon as they start reporting good things. So in good conscience, after everything that I've heard, and I know that it's a community newspaper, I do not support recognizing them at this time. I do support the superintendent uh, meeting with them, and if we see things changing, then we bring it back to the table and we designate them at that time. But I don't think they have shown any behavior that warrants guaranteeing them such a large sum of money. <coughs> yes, Mr. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Peasel, did you not say that to go along with the support, and if they don't, then you can pull it? Is that what you're saying? Yes. You, you, you're a board. You can vote them no, out every time. Is that what your recommendation was? Uh, if that turns out to be the case, but right now, I would like our board to be united, and I go out there and I talk to them, as, as they said with the olive branch. You said you want to hold off on the. No, no, no. I'm asking that we vote for them tonight. Okay, that's my thought. Okay, that's what I said. Okay. Right. Mr. Lawson. All right. I think, um, well, first of all, if we if we don't give it to them, it, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse, right? Mm -hmm. No, so, that's so, not guaranteed. Well, I mean, it's not going to get better. <laughs> well, <laughs> the only thing that's going to possibly make it better is the conversation the superintendent's going to have with them. Plus, also, because you, you referenced the $20,000, that might also make it better as well. Well, they've had it in the past, and they haven't stepped up to the point. No, but, but my point is is that if, if, if the objective is to get a better relationship, and we look at how we might be able to do that, one of the ways that we will definitely not do that is to say no to them right off the bat. That's, that's not going to make them write better articles. We're not not going to make them be fair and balanced. That's a fact. The, the ways that we can improve it is, yes, the superintendent can go and talk to them, is yes, we can designate them as the uh, official newspaper. But let's, so we're clear, if we say no to them, that's not gonna help. I mean, I mean, I don't think any, I mean, it should not be, nobody should be deceived at thinking that that's, that's something that makes us feel good. That, because you know, they're not, they're not being nice with no, us. I think that's holding them accountable. That's but but it's not going to improve the relationship. It's not going to improve <clears> the relationship. And in fact, it's probably gonna make it worse. Because, but, but here's, but here's the, here's the point. I, I mean, I think Mr. Howard was on, was on to something. If we designate them, if Mr. Pizzo is the olive branch, if that happens, there's a possibility. Now, if they don't do it, cut them off. What, we, what have we lost? You understand? Like, we haven't lost anything by extending mm -hmm. that olive branch if they don't do what we say we're going to do. But if we, if we stand our ground now, 
we know that what we what we lost. It's not going. The relationship is not going to end. Mr. Lewis, see what bothers me about this whole <coughs> discussion is that we're not thinking about the community, and I'm talking about the community that's part of this school district, and it's probably the largest minority population in the city of Newburgh is probably the largest population of minorities attending the school district. We know, everybody sitting around this table know where all of our problems are. We know the kids who are failing. We know the kids way back when that they're going to fail or they're going to drop out. I'm concerned that our parents can't see anything good about their kids. That's not our fault, Mr. But, Lewis. But, oh, yes, it could be if we had that paper, <laughs> which that paper represent the minority community. And I've been saying this for 22 years here. And it just seems like people just don't want to give it a shot. Give it a shot and see what happens. Give it one year and see what happens. See if we can better our relationship and see if we can get our kids and parents and everybody else involved in this thing because that's what it's going to come to. It's going to come to the, the, the if, I mean, I've come to a conclusion that sitting here for 22 years and we still having the same problems and we have still cannot get. Exactly, exactly. And they exactly. were designated no. all but two what? of those 22 exactly. years. What, what happened? They were designated all but two okay. of those 22 years. I think you years. better go back and research where we that. Are. Uh, uh, we cut them out two or three times. We cut them out. In 22, 22 years, and you just yeah, said it's exactly the yes, same. But, but no, but I mean with the board. The board don't want, to, don't want to give these people another chance. Why not give them a chance? Why not take the shot at it? The community deserves it. And this community I'm talking about is the community in the city of New York. And this community deserves fair and balanced represent, representation of all the good that this school district is bringing to all this right, community. Let's do it. We did it before. We did it when Mike Levine was there. Mike Levine, he's the one that, that, that got in touch with the, with the publisher and, and got us a meeting and we sat down and we and we we'll do that. Dressed, but that's what we need to do. We are going to do that. But we didn't do it last year. <coughs> it's the same way. It takes us two years to make a decision on anything. Ms. Resch? I have a logistic question. Because I know when I advertise with the record, which I haven't in six years or better because of how they treat Newbirds, I had to sign a contract. And that contract, you could not get out of. You were, it was a signed contract for a year. There was no getting out of it. So how does it work for us if we sign that contract? We're we able to pull out of it? Yes, we don't sign contracts. We don't, okay. No. If, the, if, the, if the newspapers are designated as official newspapers, that means that all four of them are treated equally, and most times it represents money that you pay for ads, whether it's a display ad or a legal ad. So anything that you have to advertise or publish, display or legal, goes to all four newspapers. As far as your meeting notifications, that's all they are is called meeting notifications. It goes to every newspaper plus other media sources. They do not put that in the paper. They basically, someone might say there might be a board meeting. There's no obligation for them to print such. This is all relative to legal advertising specifically. So the 20000 because I know last year we paid per item we put in. That is the way most papers, what you do is like, for instance, when we have our election, any of the legal advertising that I do, set up a purchase order, they get the advertisements through the process, and they bill us for it, and then we pay. But there are no contracts that are signed for these official, with these official newspapers. And each one has a different billing uh, price as well. Yes, Mr. Levenstein. So we are using the Times Hall record for some of our legal yes, we, that's, that's what I was saying okay. earlier. Yeah. That's why I was yeah. saying we are we are the ones choosing. We're not guaranteeing them by designating them. We guarantee we have to send them everything. By not choosing them and designating them, we choose what we want to send. Yes, Mr. Lawson. Um, Mary Lou just actually raised another issue that I think is is relevant. The fact that, um, and I think Mr. Howard mentioned it earlier. 
if we have, if there, there are legal notices that are being sent through the paper, and this is the only daily paper, and so that means that there's a whole section of people, the majority of our students, who are not getting information about our issue. No, that's not true. That's how it had yes, spots for it. I, I believe, I think this was even discussed at last year's meeting, okay. and the board was assured that mm -hmm. anything relative to our children, all the newspapers would receive it, especially the Times Held Record. Am I correct on that? That's correct. Yes. Because it's very important mm -hmm. that the readership and our parents um, know what's going on, and we would never um, not allow certain things so, to go so in. Which is what going I into the paper. Right. So, so, they, so, I'm just trying to get. I wasn't here last year, <laughs> and I'm trying to wrap this all up in, in, in this conversation. So, if I'm understanding it correctly, then the title of official newspaper is what we're debating. Basically, right. I think. Yes. So it's not the twenty thousand dollars because we we get to pick and choose what goes where. As a daily newspaper, I mean, let's say the way I would use it, let's say the way our purchasing agent would use it. We have a bond referendum, etc. There are certain timelines that we have to comply with, and if a daily newspaper is what we need to use. And even though they're not designated as the official paper, right. we have to use them. Right. So we would be sending the ad out to them, and we would pay for it accordingly. If we have you know, certain things that we maybe don't need to use them for, because there's no timeline involved, and you can use the weekly papers, you don't really have to give them the ad. You would go to your weekly papers. But we would, as need, I think Ms. Kucha, you know, explained that. When we have to use them, even though they're not designated, we would be using them. Which is what I said in yeah. my very first mm -hmm. comment. Right. We always use them for the things that the community has to right. know about. Always. Mm -hmm. We've well, never not. So, because I, I, now, now I'm a little confused. Because I thought that the contention <laughs> is $20,000. But the contention is essentially this title of official newspaper. Correct. Yep. Correct. So, mm -hmm. that, I think that, you know, it, at least it makes my point even stronger. I mean, are we standing on semantics or are we stand because if they would like the title of official newspaper and that's going to be the olive branch that Mr. Pizzo has designated that he wants to extend, I don't get it. Like I don't I don't understand why we wouldn't do that if if it's not money. Because I thought I really thought Well it's a lot of things. But 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 I but I thought that that was because to me that that was a that's a valid argument. Mr. Lewis said it hasn't worked in 19 years. But we would at least get the graduation. So we're saying that that, for, that, was, that was despicable, yeah, despicable yeah, yeah, that they yeah, did not they cover. Did, do it. did you because see the big cuts of time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but they would they would probably that's do it too if they were if they were our official newspaper. Hold, hold on, uh, I have to interrupt at this point. <laughs> they were there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were there, and they didn't were there. Times Herald Record was there when I walked That's out of the despicable. building. That's despicable. The reporter and the photographer were there in front of that thing. And they were taking pictures of our kids lining up. I don't know why it never got in the paper. I will not Something support must have someone that does camp. that. Something must have happened to your camera. That is not no, right. That there. is not <laughs> right for our camera. camera. That's disgusting. Yeah. That is <laughs> not right for this community. That is not right for these <laughs> kids. But that's the truth. Mrs. There. McAfee? And that's why I started off with my first yes. comment that they're hurting our kids. Absolutely. By selecting yeah, which are pictures they are hurting them and, and we are hurting them pieces also. they're going to put in. Absolutely. So our athletes are not being <coughs> injured. Other right. schools' athletes are that kind of thing. If and we can't condone nobody. that kind of behavior without at least making a stand. That's all I'm asking. You can do it in a week's time if you we want. We may that. Yeah, Ralph can move with speed of lightning. Oh, all he has to do is pick up the telephone and ask for a meeting. I can't imagine that they're not going to come. All right, this does not have to be a big delay. Okay. I'm going to call. You remember that? Yeah, speed of lightning. There's my, my okay. teacher. This is Mohammed going to the mountain. <laughs> and Mohammed is going to the mountain. I'm going to call for a vote on this resolution. Roll call, please. What's the resolution? What's the resolution? The resolution is to designate the Times Herald Record as an official newspaper. Yes, that's the resolution. And the motion is already on the table. Uh, We've had yeah. discussions. Yeah, and now I'm calling on. for the roll call on it. Yes or Do no. Yes, they will be an official newspaper, newspaper or no, they will not. Okay, but just for, for information, yeah. that's not what we just discussed. We said two different things. You said that, like Mrs. Um, 
Judy. Judy said, okay. allow Ralph to go talk with them is not the same thing as voting whether or not we're going to do it. That's two different things. We're going to do both. How can you do both if you he, vote to accept it and he goes and have a discussion with them and he can't come to an agreement with them? That's why you have to vote knowing that they could change or they could not change their behavior. And that's why I won't support them. I so still no matter which Mr. way we vote, we can always go back. So, right. yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't, yeah. Wouldn't yeah. It no matter which way. Wouldn't it be this body to allow Ralph to go have his conversation with him to come back and report us and then we make a decision on it? The problem with that is a good idea. The problem with that is we ha I would have nothing to show except for them saying we're going to cooperate with you. We're going to do it. We okay. So what, what I'm saying here, though, in the spirit of collegiality, first meeting for some of our board members, that the superintendent is recommending that you vote on this. Vote yes for the four newspapers, and I will post haste go out and make appointments and uh, try to think maybe some of you would come with me. Good. Great. And then and, uh, that's what I'm suggesting. If we see, after a month or two or whatever, that it's the same old stuff, and we come back to the table and we, we say we don't want them. Okay. okay. Roll call. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? No. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? No. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Ms. Rash? No. Mr. Woodhull? No. Ms. Buchak? No. The motion did not pass. Can I have a motion? Okay, well, I just have one question. I will still be going to make Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. And, and I will invite some board members to come. Yes, yes please. Thank you. <laughs> and there's a very good possibility that this will be coming back to the table. I hope. Thank you. Can I have a motion to designate the Hudson Valley Press? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokop? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Chen? Yes. Next item on the agenda are authorizations. Is there any objection to taking these authorizations as a group? Being none, I'll ask for a motion on the authorizations. So move move. Second. Questions or comments? Yes, Mr. Levinson. Um, on number five, it uh, authorizes the superintendent or designee to approve budget transfers up to a hundred thousand dollars now my question is is that in total is that per transaction is that in total for the year is that a per line item per, per, uh, per transaction we, we, uh, transfer money back in. okay so it per transaction so if it's under a hundred thousand <coughs> it doesn't come before the board you're saying and you can authorize that that's correct so the, the money is <laughs> being <laughs> transferred. It's still in the district. It's not I, going away. I, I no, I understand. <laughs> from one account. I'm going from one account to another. <laughs> but I, I think that's a substantial amount if, it, if it's unlimited amounts of under $100,000 transfers over, over a 12-month period. I mean, I, I know I've seen some of the, uh, on the reports from the finance at the lists sometimes they list the transfers that are there that's correct so um i don't know i just i don't know if it's something that the policy should look into that ninety five thousand dollars each time is a substantial amount of money that might be transferred i'm not you know what listen it could be transferred from the snow plowing budget because we didn't need it this year that's to textbooks exactly right. exactly. to textbooks yeah. i'm not saying that i'm not giving a, a connotation that's a bad thing that could happen <laughs> Um, so, so, but I just think maybe we need a little bit more oversight when there's that much multiple transfers, substantial monies. Mr. Lawson. Um, 
I see that there's a, a, a section that's referencing you know, a regulation. So my question would be, if, if that is a, if a regulation that the state abides by as being something that's legitimate, then it, it is, I don't think that we would be held accountable if a transfer is made because the state regulation gives the, the um, superintendent that authority. So we, so for example, if the superintendent transferred less than $100,000 according to this regulation, we wouldn't be held accountable. Council, you know, the, the regulation states that you could delegate by resolution like this to the superintendent the authority to move money between functional units in the budget, but only if it's for a purpose that's within the spending authority of the board, not something that would require voter approval. But the amount that you place as the limitation on the ability to transfer monies is within the board's discretion. So the question is, is 100,000 the right number? Is 50,000 the right number? And the other question is, what kind of report do you get and when regarding the budget transfers from one code to another? So you're dealing with a, a budget that's about a quarter of a billion dollars. So you would expect to have maybe a larger authorization amount than a district that has a $60 million budget. Right. And so that, I just, my, my, my main question is, this wouldn't come, I, I think Mr. Levinson's point, it wouldn't, it wouldn't come back to us. This, this seems like a reasonable amount given <coughs> the nature of our budget, given how things operate throughout the, uh, you know, other school districts and, and based on this law. This is reasonable. This, on its face, it would seem to be reasonable, but I think it would also be fair for you to get some kind of a report to see what kinds of transfers in excess of twenty-five or 50000 have been made from one account to another, and then you could study that, and as you mentioned before, your policy committee may want to do some fine-tuning. Okay. Yeah, I just think a report, of course, again, if it's transferred from the snow budget to textbooks, I'm not looking for any, any various reasons for this to happen, but I think that we should be aware if it's in the monthly financial check register that we get what's transferred, and that it, it, it is, is there sometimes. It is. Yeah. For example, sometimes it's in total. For example, we came here and we asked for a transfer. We told you we were transferring money out of the snow balance because we had a mild winter, and we put the car for you in that end of that. And then pretty well. That's one that just comes to the top of my head. Yeah. From time to time throughout the year, there are transfers. They're not all $100,000. It might be $20,000 or $30,000. Yep. Yes. Roll call, please. Mr. Holler. Yes. Mr. Bach. 
Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 Yes.